I am Dr. Aprajya Singh, second year resident at uh, GMARS Medical College Medical Hospital, Sola Civil Hospital. Uh, uh, I am here to present my paper on uh, study titled Vaccination in Children with Hemophilia Extended Barriers. So, uh, this study evaluates the routine immunization status in the uh, children with hemophilia uh, via a self structured questionnaire administered both online and offline to the parents of uh, children with hemophilia. So, questionnaire consists of five dimensions personal data of parents, type of bleeding disorder, educational level of parents, vaccination status, and reasons for non vaccination. So, what we found out that out of 280 children uh, included in our study, 255 children, 90, according for 91.1% had complete immunization, and uh, uh, rest 25 children, accounting for 8.9%, had incomplete immunization. And an important figure was nine children which uh, which refused subsequent immunization due to the uh, uh, hematoma formation over the local injection site. So, what were the reasons for uh, uh, incomplete immunization? So, out of these uh, 25 children, the most common reason was the fear of hematoma formation, accounting for 36% of the uh, causes, and uh, uh, second, followed by the 32% of causes, accounting for the parental ignorance to policy, followed by 28% uh, due to parental anxiety and 4% uh, due to wrong advice by the local physician. So, uh, what were the outcomes following vaccination in these patients uh, who were immunized, 274 out of 280 children were, who were immunized, there were no complication in 63% of cases and 30% have the mild pain and swelling and fever and bleeding at the site of uh, injection and 7% had, only 7% had hematoma formation following the vaccination. So, uh, and we also found 36% of parents were graduate uh, and 61% were 12th pass, 2.9% were illiterate and we found that educated parents completed their children's vaccination more than less educated ones. So, what we conclude here in general, when we uh, review the uh, uh, immunization coverage in general population, which it is 20 to 80 percent, but in our uh, children, uh, the immunization was 91.1 percent. And we also see that educated parents have uh, more knowledge regarding their children's disease, general care, importance of vaccination in their children as compared to parents who were not educated. So, uh, we should have frequent public awareness programs uh, uh, for educating parents and also continued medical education programs and training to update the medical health professionals to give a better, uh, to follow better guidelines for hemophilia patients. Uh, you uh, you had one thing in your slide that wrong uh, advice by some. So, so huh. what was the wrong advice given? Uh, uh, for one patient, uh, the local physician advised not to vaccinate this uh, hemophilia patient. Only one patient. Not to vaccinate. Huh. So what was the minimum age? F uh, did you ask for the age of diagnosis of hemophilia in those patients? Hmm. Did you have any data regarding that? Uh, age, ma'am, uh, children uh, from children till 18 years of age. No, no. What did you? What was the minimum age of diagnosis? Those cases. Did you have any data regarding that? No. Uh, uh, right now. Okay. okay. Uh, for for those uh, whom you diagnose at your clinic or at your hospital, so what advice do you give to the patients? Uh, Ma'am, patients of hemophilia? Yes. Regarding vaccination? Yes. yes. Uh, Ma'am, uh, we should advise them to complete their uh, immunization as the general population and uh, we should not fear of the hemotema formation because uh, we'll take care into account while vaccinating those children uh, and uh, we are giving factors uh, for those children uh, which will not cause any uh, problem. Okay. Do's and don'ts in hemophilia. I'll tell you the do's, I mean, uh, criteria tell me it is a do or don't. Swimming? Yes. Cricket? No. No. High, high impact? No. No. Mm -hmm. DPT? DPT? Uh, DPT, I don't know. What? Vaccine? Dancing, huh? I can. Dancing? DPT. You're still in the last. DPT, immunization. Ah, immunization, ah, ah, yes. Ah. Need to be given. Okay. DPT vaccine, deep IM. Uh, we have to give a uh, vaccine. IM. IM deep, deep IM. That's how we give, used to give DPT, right? Yeah. We have to give. With the factor coverage. Uh, with the uh, for compression before giving vaccination and compression after. And ICE application also. There's a mnemonic called PRICE for PRICE for hemophilia. Hmm. Just 
uh, elaborate the thing. Uh, sir, rice. Peas. Sir, I know rice. Rice, it's price. Okay, it's <laughs> rice. a price. Great, thank you. Good. Thank you.